give us an example of what the revenue model looked like. I'm George Com Industries. I've got 6,000 employees. Mm -hmm. I call up Andrew Morton at Bloom or your biz dev team and say, guys, deliver this to me what, so that everyone at home can really understand. What are you delivering to George Com Industries now? Great question. So billable services flat out would be around the clinical services because there's a real spend for that. But then on top of that, there's a SaaS business for the, for the software. And this really gives them the ability to manage things near term in a lot of cases. I mean, people are coming to us right now because of the Biden administration's announcements around the hundred or more uh, mandate for vaccine testing or both. Okay. Well, they, we can help them manage not only the number of tests that are happening and, and what the safety condition is, but also help them manage with an unobtrusive kind of non-passport like discrete method to manage who's been vaccinated, and who hasn't. So, you know, we're not, we're not their lawyer and not giving them policy. We're just giving them the tools to create that policy, but that's a billable service as software. Okay. So that's two big components. The third large component here is advisory services. So there's three different revenue models. And on the advisory side, we have a really strong panel of researchers that are re releasing data on predictive outcomes. So then they can start making some smart decisions. Because when you've got 6,000 employees, there's a really good chance they're in one, more than one territory. So each of your geographies, you have to start thinking about it a little bit differently. Hey guys, this video is over, but don't forget to help your company by liking it and even leaving a comment below. And then don't forget to help yourself by subscribing to our channel and never missing another great Agoracom small cap video.